professional wrestling. Literally the only good excuse to wear a onesie. And that's right, babies, <laughs> you're not pulling it off. Put on some jeans and a button-down like a fucking person. <laughs> Specifically, I want to talk about the undisputed corporate champion of wrestling, the WWE, formerly known as the WWF, until, and this is true, they lost a court case to the World Wildlife Fund. <laughs> Presumably thanks to that fund's powerful team of panda lawyers. And look, <laughs> before we go any further, let me say this. I like wrestling. And you might be surprised to hear that, but I'd argue it's objectively entertaining. And the WWE has, over the years, delivered numerous ludicrous and genuinely incredible moments, from when Jake the Snake Roberts set a live cobra on Macho Man Randy Savage, <laughs> to the time Braun Strowman suplexed the Big Show off the turnbuckle and broke the entire <laughs> ring, to when Stone Cold Steve Austin drove a beer truck into the arena and sprayed the corporation with a beer hose, not to be mistaken with the time that Kurt Angle drove a milk truck into the arena and sprayed Stone Cold Steve Austin with a milk hose, <laughs> and then there was whatever the fuck this is. Oh, oh my God, here we go! Oh my God, what's gonna happen? Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Everything about that is fantastic. <laughs> but, but my favourite part is, after the table was lit on fire, the commentator asking, what's gonna happen? <laughs> What was he expecting to happen? Oh, the table's on fire. Oh, my God, here comes a Hibachi chef, and he's making one of those onion volcanoes on the table. Now he's doing indoor sports. Oh, my God! And, look, it is worth talking about the WWE tonight for multiple reasons. First, it's astonishingly popular. It has over a billion fans on social media. It has two highly rated cable shows, its own streaming network, reality shows, video games, and even a movie studio, which has produced such hits as The Scorpion King, Walking Tall, The Marine, The Marine 2, The Marine 3, <laughs> The Marine 4, The Marine 5, <laughs> The Marine 6, and, of course, Lincoln. By the way, by the way, their, their first choice to play Abraham Lincoln was actually Brutus the Barber Beefcake, but he wasn't available, so the role went to Daniel Day-Lewis, who was... he was... he was fine. <laughs> and look, this company makes a lot of money. Last year, it generated a record 930 million in revenue. In fact, WrestleMania alone, which is taking place next Sunday, is one of the most valuable sports brands in the world, ranking higher than the World Series, which actually makes sense when you think about it, because while the World Series is mostly spent watching a millionaire in a button-down think about whether or not to throw a ball, <laughs> WrestleMania involves things like this. No! Oh, my God! No! no! For the love of mankind! Shane just exploded through our table! Are you not entertained? <laughs> How could any other TV show top that? In fact, well, I would argue... Every other show should just be called Unfortunately Not A Guy Exploding Through A Table, <laughs> and this show should very much be included in that. <laughs> but, but the other reason that it's worth talking about the WWE is because of the prevalence of stories like these. Eddie Guerrero found dead in a Minneapolis hotel room. The world wrestling star was just 38 years old. We have just confirmed that uh, Randy Macho Man Savage has died. China, one of the most famous wrestlers in the 90s, has now died. She was 46 years old. Pro wrestling legend King Kong Bundy has died at the age of 61. He came here. We were in Studio A, and he really? lifted me almost up to the ceiling. But he'll be missed, just 61 years old. These wrestlers dying early. Wow, that is a harrowing statement there from Brian Kilmeade, only slightly dampened by his childlike wonder at how high the big man lifted him. <laughs> and how did that even happen? Did Bundy offer him? Did Kilmeade ask? Honestly, I wouldn't really be surprised if one of his stock interview questions is, up, up, horsey ride! <laughs> but Kilmeade